here we are back at the dreamland it's a uh, very exciting times for us as we continue to progress on the building those of you that are on island already see that we've finished the oak street side we've got our shingles up uh, and the clabbered up and we are continuing to work around the building mostly in the visible areas uh, on the back end is now completely shingled um, at least on the Oak Street side, and we're working on the size side to do the same. The uh, front of the building as well is almost completely done. Inside the building, as you can see, there's a lot of duct work, at least um, on the ground, if not already in place. We are very pleased with the fact that we are going for lead silver in this building. Um, it's a, a very sustainable entity for us. We have um, integrated that into the heating and cooling systems, um, as well as some of the other uh, uh, parts of the uh, project, including you know bike racks and things of that nature. But again, this is a lead silver building, and we're in town, and we're very pleased with being able to do that. Um, the interior work will continue through the summer, so as of the 20th of June, when we have to stop exterior work, uh, it will all be watertight, and we'll be able to continue to with things uh, in the theater. Right now we're in the main theater. What you're looking at is the top tier of seats. The seats uh, go up in the back of the theater to the second floor. So it's gonna be great sight lines in this uh, facility. And we're looking down now from the top of those seats to the stage and where the screen will be. It'll be a wonderful place to see a movie or some sort of production. Um, the main theater will be able to seat 325 people when it's completed and it does have some small capacity for um, green rooms and the like, but it's mostly movies. We're looking up the elevator chute. Um, we are going to have fully handicapped access to all floors of the building, and um, we'll obviously be up to code, which is those of you who remember the old Dreamland wasn't even closed, so it's kind of fun to know that we've integrated a lot of the modern code into this building as we had to, but um, it'll be a useful uh, entity for those. We're looking down now into what is the mezzanine level, but it um, actually is a opening for the, in, down to the second floor. Upstairs now, I'm trying to get my orientation. Um, we are uh, walking through some of the just rooms that are not designated as of yet, but um, looking back through the third floor of the building where a lot of the other activity will go on. Oh, those are the old trusses. They're still wrapped so we can keep them uh, safe from the elements, but uh, they have been reinstated into the building. They came from the original Dreamland Theater when it was up on Main Street, so they're part of the Quaker Meeting House, as are the windows. And what we're in right now is that studio theater upstairs, which is going to be a very versatile um, uh, room for many kinds of functions, whether they be dances. Uh, it will also have the capacity to be darkened, and we can show movies upstairs as well. So uh, a wonderful room. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful space. Uh, we are looking at naming opportunities for our rooms, so if you're interested in that, please call our office at 508-332-4822. Uh, that includes both the studio theater and we'll, we'll see probably in a minute the Harbor View room. But as we continue our fundraising efforts, those rooms are going to be targets for us. We are now in the Harbor View room, which has this wonderful vaulted ceiling, which will be essentially um, a lot of the finished carpentry in this room will come from the floor joists of the original building. So while it's not renovation, it is reuse, which helps us with our LEED certification as well. Um, the, um, Harbor View Room has a magnificent view of Nantucket Harbor. We're now looking from the deck outside of the Harbor View Room, but as you can see, that view of the harbor is probably unparalleled on the island as far as a function space is concerned. And this is all people. This is not a private club. This is a public function space for use by all year round, and we're very proud of the fact that as a not-for-profit, we've been able to raise $23.5 million to date to bring this building back and we continue to fundraise and I look forward to next month's uh, conversation with you about the Dreamland and hopefully as we then will be in the thick of the summer, we'll see you in the office. You can come by, ask us questions. Please help us through your donations. Thank you very much.